Okay, I thought I'd uh, just record a little bit of um, this 9-8 rhythm. Um, I found it really helpful. Um, I'll link a, a video um, if you want. But if you do have access to Ableton, uh, then I really think that like learning all this seems to make a lot more sense. Because um, the thing is, you can just like put it in as a one like a one bar or or a two bar um there's a there's a video yeah as i said that will show you how to do that if if indeed you want to use ableton but you may not um but for instance it really helped me to have like a metronome just easily overlaid over that because the clave that they have on drum genius is like you know it's like a syncopated rhythm so that doesn't really help me if that's if i'm just trying to work out where the one is and all that um so i just imported this loop into ableton and then this is this is the loop the, the full two bars of it and then you can hear what it sounds like with the metronome over so it's you know it's like a 106 in 98 is actually quite fast like And what's really a bit, I don't know, kind of hard to take into account as well is that there's this little like um, ghost note there before the one that is played by the drummer. So if you're having trouble counting it already and then there's this little ghost note that is actually just, um, you know, a 16th before the kick, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of threw me off for a while. So what, what, I, what I did is actually just made it a one bar loop and then it actually makes a lot more sense. And then you can do the thing of counting the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and so on. But if you do, if you try and do that with that little ghost note, it's kind of like bit one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. It's like, you know, it's a cool fill, but um, yeah, if you're just trying to work it out, um, and then. I mean, once it's in the door, it's actually pretty good to see it visually and just see see where you are in the bar. And I've, you know, this is like by no means anything good at all, but I've just been sort of making new channels here to sing over. Just to almost like, I went from singing one, two, one, two, one, two, three to just like. You know, and then, and then you, if you record a bunch of stuff on Ableton, you know, it's just so easy just to pick like different um, loops. And I could oh no, I did something over here. And then because you can see it visually, you can get, a, you know, you can get your head around what's going on and then added. And if I'm getting screwed up by the fact, by this ghost note or whatever, I can just choose a much simpler part of the beat. Um, well, in this case, it's all of this is just repeat, so uh, it's actually only this part. But this part without the ghost note is, is, is more simple. So, yeah, I don't know if that gives you an idea of, like, yeah, possible workflows to start working things out. Like, I, I really am not good at odd meter at all, and, like, it's going to be going to be really nice working... Um, working out this stuff and yeah just even just these first things i've recorded it's like you start getting a feel for when it as it loops around um i swear that this visual thing helps me for now but yeah hopefully it's not too much of a crutch anyway um yeah hope you have a nice day